Today we have some American Girl doll news about Christmas outfits, around the world outfits, and much more. Let's talk about it on, on a Focus, Focus on the Cute! Today we have a lot of American Girl doll news to cover, so let's get started. First up, we wanted to give photo credit to Alexandra D. Perot. The, all these photos came from her. Thank you. First up, we have some outfits from around the world. This is Kwanzaa. I remember Addie having a similar outfit from the Zoroka line like a while Years back. Years ago. <laughs> Long time ago. So it's very interesting to see these. Next up, we have a Chinese New Year outfit, I believe. I love this outfit. It's adorable. Love the colors, the pattern. The reds and gold. Beautiful. And if you didn't get Ivy's New Year outfit when before she retired, that's perfect for Ivy or any other doll you have in your collection. Mm -hmm. I think it's very pretty. I think it's gorgeous. Can't wait to get it. Here is uh, some Muslim fashion. It's a hijab, a little pink one, and then a blue dress and some uh, dark blue pants underneath. I, I think I like, um, I think this is going to be a popular outfit. A lot of people have wanted some Muslim fashion. I wish they had just made the hijab maybe a little bit uh, more colorful with uh, some maybe flowers or something, but I understand why they made it a plain pink also as well. Next up we have an Indian traditional outfit. I really love this piece. I love how fancy this item is and a lot of Indian dresses and the clothing is very beautiful. I love the just the pattern on the skirt and the shirt and then you got a veil. Very pretty. It is. It's gorgeous. They're missing all the gold though. And here is, I believe this is the Hanukkah outfit. It looks similar to um, the ones that they had in the past, you know, kind of a little bit different, um, a silver and, and dark blue. It's still pretty. Yeah, because I remember they made one with a white sweater and a blue skirt. Oh, so I did like that one. That, that was, was beautiful. Cute. Next up, we believe this is the main Christmas dress for this year. If you haven't checked out our other Christmas news video, we'll put a like card up above and a link down below. But this is really pretty. I love the plaid because red plaid is just a Christmas color. And I just love the boots. I love her. I just love this outfit, this oh, dress. Oh, they're sparkly. One thing that's disappointing is her crown is recycled from another holiday outfit, but that's okay. Here's a little twinny in a smaller version. Here's um, the little Wooly Wishers, and I, my suggestion is to buy this because it sold out last year for the for the uh, Wooly Wishers. Yes, the gold dress. Cute. I love the plaid on either one. Yes, very excited for the Christmas release this year, and all these beautiful outfits. Here we have these books, which are from the World by Us Contemporary Dawn Line. We believe that's what it's called. I really am excited for this Dawn Line. I think they are all super cute and unique dolls. Here we have Makina. She is super cute. I love her outfit. I love her butterfly clips. And it's interesting to see that these dolls have books. Wasn't sure how it was going to be. I thought they were going to be like Truly Me dolls, but apparently they're going to be similar to like Z and Tenny. So like added to the contemporary line. Oh, I think she looks really pretty. I love this faux leather jacket with the butterflies Very and cute. the little star on the zipper. Uh, it looks like a little woven purple purse. I, I love her accessories, if this is her accessories. We love little details like zippers. Of course, definitely. And she has a little notebook too. Mm -hmm. Next up we have the Yvette doll. I think she is so adorable. I love her boho vibe. I love her flowery outfit, her flowery boots. I love doll boots. I love flowers on mm -hmm. doll clothing. We rarely get that. Yes. I love just, it's very nice. And I love her hair. I love curly doll hair. It's just my favorite to style. She looks, she looks adorable. I think she's going to be one of her favorites. On her accessories is a jacket with roses on it. It looks like it has two pockets. I hope they're not faux. And you have some gold buttons, the uh, sunglasses, and her purse with tassels on it. It has, I think it has a little bee on there. Maybe she has to do with beekeeping. Next up is Maritza. She looks like she's a Hispanic, but then so does Yvette, because some Hispanic people do have uh, green eyes or light color eyes. I believe also this doll is unique too because uh, it appears she has vitiligo because on her which is a loss of pigmentation on the skin and it looks like that on the book and also on her arm you can see like there's um, some loss of pigmentation I don't know if there is I think that's really great next up we have our accessories which have a sporty theme we have a jacket we got a hip bag and a water bottle 
Kind of wish she came with a soccer ball because it looks like she's into soccer by the cover of her book. So I think uh, that would have been interesting to see as one of her accessories. But maybe they'll make more outfits for them later. Or maybe she's not even into soccer. Who knows? <laughs> Next up we have a cafe set. This is super cute. Not really sure if this is going to go along with the doll release or some other time. But it's really adorable. I wonder if there's something on the back, like maybe for the customers on the back. Because sometimes they do stuff on the back of stuff. But if not, it's still super cute. Also, you have a little computer for the barista to take orders. Lots of pastries, little coffees, little drinks. I think this set is cool. But the price range, we'll have to see. Probably about 250 I bet. Uh, then you have a small ice box. I think this is a really cool option for those of us who are within a need to stay within a budget so this would be nice for your doll room and it also comes with some food on the top very cute here is the craft table this is what we've been waiting for our little dolly group glue gun <laughs> everyone all the adult doll collectors i just think this table is very versatile you can use it as a dining room table even and also as a craft table and I'm sure most of us use our dining room table as a craft table anyway. So <laughs> yes. I think this would be a great piece. And I think they need, I think American Girl does need to make everyday accessories you might find at home. Mm -hmm. This is a little desk set or a little desk area. Very colorful and just very different. I like the computer and the little plant. I wish some of these items, like accessories, sold separately because some of these accessories are interesting, but maybe you don't want the whole furniture piece. Mm hmm. Or you don't like the color scheme necessarily. Here we have a couch and a little lamp. I think the lamp is interesting. It's something new that you might find in your house, you know, because we all have like lights in our home. So I think that's kind of a cool touch. And the couch is a very interesting pattern. I love those spark the sparkly sequin pillow though. I love they add a touch of the pillows because I haven't seen that before on any of the couches. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. Which item was your favorite? Did you like these dolls or maybe one of the outfits from around the world or maybe one of the furniture pieces let us know subscribe if you've gotten this far subscribe and <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute bye 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 everybody